This is a baobab, tree of knowledge planted in front of a Ghanaian university library. Here is Sir Edward Gaida, Dean of the University for Development Studies, School of Health Sciences in Tamale, Northern Ghana. He has asked Maastricht University's assistance in training more and better equipped health professionals. The Dean is aware of the methods of student active learning and wants to go in that direction. Can she collaborate's help? How can we build roads that lead to health care for everybody? Development starts with primary education. The circumstances at school can be tough, but some of these kids make it to university and can become tomorrow's doctors. In the Netherlands, we can count on one doctor for 250 people. But this is Tamale. In northern Ghana, there is only one doctor available for 92,000 inhabitants. Here is Joshua. We met him in Tamale's teaching hospital last September. His mother carried him in a sling on her back while walking with a pot of hot soup on her head. When a car almost hit her, she lost her balance and the soup poured over Joshua's head. In many Ghanaian hospitals, mothers share their children's bed, relatives take care of food, and the complete extended family contributes to the hospital bills. Alternatively, people look for traditional healers, and God, in, in all appearances, will also be called upon. In this area, less than half of babies' deliveries occur in health facilities. Pregnant girls stay in their home communities where only a few women, if any, are trained to assist in deliveries. Maternal mortality in northern Ghana is a serious problem, and out of every hundred babies, 14 die before their fifth birthday. To increase the number of midwives, she collaborates, assists in the strengthening of educational institutes by developing a bachelor and a master program in midwifery. This is our approach. We meet with staff, students, the community, managers, teachers and politicians. What is the exact need? Who feels this need? The cultural context is extremely important. How do people communicate here? How can we get our message across? Who are the key players? So many pieces of the puzzle to explore. Yet, knowing that we will never get the complete picture captured in our own set of values and experiences. If our culture values individuals, and people in Ghana focus on the community as a whole, why should we try to impose our values on them? At times, we wonder what we are doing here. But even if the most we can do is support people in their daily work while trying to make a few small changes, Maybe that is enough. So this is what we do. Through She Collaborates, Maastricht University, together with other partners, offers tailor-made support in strengthening health professions education. All these meetings, planning and training, ultimately lead to an improved learning environment. Skills labs are established, libraries updated, curricula developed or adapted. More students are trained in a way that gives them better tools to face the challenges of improving the healthcare for their people.